Ferdinand de Saussure is a man who created what many believe to be the beginning of linguistics. Like most innovations, this story starts at the dawn of the 20th century. In his early years of academia, he studied various languages such as Latin, Sanskrit, and Ancient Greek. While studying these topics, he started to question how language functions, what the connection was between communicational forms and language. For instance, how do we know that the written letter P makes a P sound? Well, somebody once told you that, as someone told that person before them. This led to Saussure to conclude that language is not just inherent, but a learned ability, thus beginning the academic study of semiotics, the study of signs. This led to the publication of one of linguistics' most important works, The Course on General Linguistics, by Saussure. In this text, he explained the concept of the sign, which he saw as a combination of a signifier and a signified. The signifier is the analog which indicates the object in reality. To put it more simply, it's the word. The word tree is a signifier for a tree. It isn't an actual tree, but a representation of the tree. If we're to continue this example, then the tree itself would be what Saussure calls the signified. With these parts combined, a sign is formed. A sign cannot be formed if one of these two things are missing. If I said blarpledar, that cannot be a sign on its own. Blarpledar might be a signifier for something, but without a connection to a real-life thing, it cannot form a sign. It is a signifier without a signified. On the other hand, say I was to show you this. What is it? I haven't assigned it a signifier. You may call it a picture, a painting, an image, but those things are all signifiers not yet assigned to this. This is a signified without a signifier. Now, Saussure so isn't trying to say that reality hinges on this connection. Obviously, trees existed before we had a word for them, and the word car could have existed far before cars existed. But he's attempting to make a statement on language itself. This is a theme many postmodern philosophers have explored at length, how our understanding of language affects our perception of reality. This is perhaps most famously explained by French thinker and guy who thought of the Matrix before it was cool, Jean Baudrillard. Without dropping too much into the lion's den of postmodernism, Baudrillard was a philosopher who believed we lived in a simulation. And no, not the Matrix simulation. When Baudrillard spoke of simulation, he meant signs and representations held as more important than the things that they represented. Words being more important as words rather than their meanings. The example he uses is a map. A map is a reference to the layout of a geological location. But Baudrillard believes that we've come to look at a map as the actual location, as maps being more important than the geography itself. What Saussure refers to as a signifier, Baudrillard refers to as a simulacrum, a representation or signifier indicating something else. Think of a photo of your friend versus the friend themselves. Baudrillard would say that photo is a simulacrum of them. What Baudrillard fears is that these representations have become more important than the originals. Although signs are an important faculty of our communication between each other, we can't confuse these signifiers with the actual things. When someone yells fire, we become just as scared as if we'd seen fire. When we see the word 20% off, we get just as excited as if we'd already experienced those savings. Are signifiers and words becoming more important than their meanings? I'm not too sure. I'm just a voice in your headphones, offering up a bunch more words. Blarpledarp, everyone. Blarpledarp.